So she like says, these are my VIPs. Who? You can see the fluorescent. <laughs> might be thinking to yourself, what's happening? Me too. <laughs> My intention for this entire video that you're watching was to make like a really cool vlog of the weekend. And I realized like five minutes into it that I was never mm. gonna capture the content that I actually wanted to capture because I was gonna be too busy experiencing it. I am the world's worst vlogger. I default to just not filming anything mostly because I just want to respect like the privacy of the people around me. I never want to be that person that just like has their camera out. I'm never going to be able to do the things that most people do with vlogs ever. And that's okay. I've just accepted that about myself. So I figured anytime there's like a gap in footage that was like something really cool happened and I didn't film it, I just wanted to talk about it here. So what's happening right now? Great question, I would love to tell you. Olivia and I just checked into our hotel. It's like 10.30 at night and we needed like a real meal very badly. And so we went up to our room, we put our stuff down and then we went downstairs to kind of just walk around the hotel. That's like one of my favorite things about going to hotels like personally is touring them. You know, just like taking yourself to like the pool and be like, that's nice. I might take a dip in there. And then you like mm. never do. And then finding the cool like hotel bar and be like, that's cool. Maybe I'll come and be mysterious and get a drink. Mm. You never do. It's Friday night. We are in the heart of Hollywood, literally like the stars on the street, you know, where people like, take photos and all of that. They're like, we're on them. We're, we're sleeping on the stars. We figured there'd be a lot going on, but we were just gonna kind of like scoot our way through it. Olivia has no fear. She just, she will walk straight into a situation and like apologize later. I, on the other hand, could literally be invited somewhere and I will still feel like bad that I'm there. <laughs> so having Olivia with me, honestly, just like made everything so much easier this weekend. So we go in and we are kind of just like scooting around and there's people everywhere and I'm seeing signs for events and I'm seeing like a nightclub, you know, all of it. So we're like making our way through people and I hear this woman go, oh my God, no way. And then Olivia scoots through them. So I follow her and we go to leave because it, there's just like so much happening. I hear this woman like, kind of come after us. And she's like, hi, 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 what were you looking for tonight? Also, she had the coolest clothes. She had these like long button up shirt with like all these necklaces and this like suit jacket and suit pants that are like cuffed up and like these cool shoes. She just looked so stylish. I'm like, I want to be you. Um, and she let us know she's the maitre d'. I didn't know those were real. I just assumed that was like a movie thing. And then she's like, so what were you doing down here? And I was like, I was just trying to find some like snacks or something to eat. And she's like, oh, what do you want? Do you want a drink? And she like brings us to this couch that's in the middle of the room and it's the most lit part of the room. So it's like the center is bright and everything around us is dark. So the fact that we are in the middle, <laughs> it's like, oh no. Because number one, I look like I'm wearing pajamas. And number two, I am so out of place that I'm holding a pillow. So Olivia and I are talking, we see her zipping around, we finish our drink. I still haven't gotten food yet and I am starving. And also not eating plus like drinking a drink. It's just like not a good combo. And I'm trying to start this weekend off real strong. So I'm like, I really need food. So we go up to her and I ask, like, can I grab my check so we can go get food? And she goes, oh no, drinks are on me. And I'm like, Okay, thank you. And then she goes, what else do you wanna see in the hotel? And I was like, food, I would love to see food. And she's like, do you wanna see the bowling alley? And I said, there's a bowling alley here? And she goes, exactly. So <laughs> apparently there's like this bowling alley that is a secret and it's in the hotel and it's very small and only like a select few people can go in. And so she's like, just come see the bowling alley and then I'll let you guys go. And I was like, Great. And so she like leads us up the stairs and we go up to this bookcase and there's this like security guard standing next to the bookcase. And so she like says, these are my VIPs. Who? <laughs> and the security 
security guard looks at us and they're like, good to go. We walk in, a wall of people. Everyone's staring at Olivia and I because probably new people don't walk in and out of this place like often. It's probably like once you're in, you're like in, you know? So I understand why people are like, oh my God. So we're looking around and she's like, here are the bowling lanes. There's two of them. And then there's like board games on the side. Do you want a drink? And I was like, I just would love food. <laughs> And then she's like, great, do you wanna go see the pool really quick? Why not? I'm like, not gonna say no, this is like crazy. So she takes us to the pool, shows us where like Marilyn Monroe had a photo shoot. And there's people like at the little poolside bar and I'm like, maybe this is where we'll eat. And she goes, great, we saw the pool. I'm gonna take you up to the rooftop. Okay, let's go to the rooftop. So then we get to the elevators in the main floor and we notice that they are kind of covered by security and uh, we try and get in the elevator to go up to the rooftop and the security guard stops us and says, excuse me, do you guys have your wristbands? And she looks at me and then the security guard and she goes, oh, I didn't realize it was closed off like that. So she tells me, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get us up um, to the rooftop. And I said, that's okay, we can go tomorrow night. So then as we're walking away, the girl that's giving out the wristbands goes, oh my God, are you from TikTok? And I said, I am, yeah. So we get into a conversation. I ended up asking her, I think if she needs like water or something, cause I just feel like I've worked in the service industry for so long. I know that when you are manned like at a table or something, you're just there all night. And so I was like, do you want like snacks or water? I'm about to go get a meal. Do you need anything? And she goes, oh my gosh, no, thank you so much for asking. She's like, have you been up to the rooftop? I haven't been up to the rooftop. She goes, do you want to go see it? And I was like, sure looks at me and she goes, I can't believe they're gonna let us up. And I was like, I don't know enough to know whether this is even good or not. <laughs> and so she gives us some wristbands. We get into the elevator and we ride up and we walk out. And all I could continue to say was, this makes sense. This makes sense. <laughs> yeah, no, this makes sense. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. We looked around and I got back in the elevator, went back down and he was like, is there anything else you want to see? And I was like, I would, I would love <laughs> some food. <laughs> she doesn't even give me an answer. She just immediately starts walking. And I know at this point in the tour, that means like to follow her. And so I start following her and there's this really old school diner like attached to the hotel. And she goes, I love the onion rings and I love the tater tots. You don't have to say another word. So she like clears the space on the counter and like lets us sit at the little tabletop bar situation. Um, we take our order and I end up ordering tater tots and onion rings and giving her some because she said earlier that um, she never gets to eat at these events and ends up like eating a bunch of ramen when she gets home. And so I gave her some tater tots sneakily and she just was like, that's all I need, thank you. And she left and I didn't see her again. And so we just like brought our food up to our room and we had one of the best burgers and best tater tots and best onion rings I've ever had in my life. So that's what lived here. <laughs> you can see the whole neon. <laughs> that's that really sweet. cute. Cheers. To the Roosevelt. That's really good. Wow. What did we order? I don't know. <laughs> You're like the real deal, man. Years of serving. Okay, it was ready to go. It was ready to go. Cheers. Cheers. It's good. So we're going to the Bachelor in Paradise event. We don't know what's actually happening. I never it's, know what's happening. <laughs> I look like I'm about to lead a business meeting. I love it. It's okay? I love it. Okay, I'm very nervous. I just don't know what's going on ever, so I can't stress about it ever. <laughs> okay, we are sitting here. We're waiting at a cafe down the street from the event because we don't want to be early. The thing is, I've learned if you go to an event, people show up like a half hour late. Being the first person there, you kind of feel like you're a part of the staff. Hi, can I help set up anything? And also, do you need anything? And you're welcoming every single guest that comes in. Do you in. need help tearing down? Yeah. I do expect there to be food and snacks and drinks, and it's beautiful yeah, the weather beautiful. is so nice I'm feeling good
Katie. Ma'am. This is who Jesse thinks Katie is. <laughs> Most definitely. This is actually Katie. Yes. That wasn't the girl I wanted to give it to. Karen, I said Katie. I froze and forgot, I said Katie. Somehow we gotta do that again. Ladies, Jesse has something to say to you. Katie, I accidentally called out the wrong name. Karen. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> This is the artist formerly known as Katie, actually Karen. <laughs> After the night was coming to a close, I looked through the window and I saw um, like all these like pink flamingos that were like inflatable kind of scattered around the ground and I saw two women like laying on them to deflate them. So I walked in and um, I said, can I help you deflate these? And first they were like, yeah, absolutely. And I grabbed one and they're like, no, 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 go out and like, just no, 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 sorry, go to the party, like go enjoy the party. And I was like, I've been at the party for like a couple hours. I'm partied out, like, I just, I need some quiet and you guys are in here and you look like you'd help. And so I would love to do that. Looking back, I'm like really curious to know whether they think I was just doing that to like look nice, but it, that doesn't, that's not my business. I grabbed a flamingo and I'm deflating it and I'm just making conversation with um, people at the ABC team. I don't know why I took it upon myself to like go into full interview mode, but that's like what I do and I just, I've met somebody new for the first time. I can't, I'm not just like a, what's your favorite kind of soup? <laughs> That's like not the kind of question I go to. I'm like, tell me your deepest desires and dreams and hopes. Like there's no in between conversation for me. I, I don't know how to do that. The first question out of my mouth with these ladies was, what's the one moment in your career that you are most proud of at this point? I just listened to them give their answers for a good bit before anyone found us. And I'm listening to them talk and it's so inspiring and I'm really intimidated because these people work at like a huge network and I'm not around this ever, you know, living in Nebraska, like I don't get invited to these things. And if I do, I usually can't go. And so we were chatting and then all of a sudden I see out of the corner of my eye, my sister-in-law and my friend come in and they're like, we've been looking for you for a while. And I'm like, right, I'm just been in here. And so we end up just deflating all of these flamingos. I'm connecting with people and I'm asking everyone their career highlights. And then at the end of it, one of the um, producers um, at ABC was like, what are you doing after this? Just was planning on getting some sushi. My, me my answer is always a meal. I <laughs> like, just want to find a meal. And so uh, she goes, well, we're having a birthday party for one of our um, colleagues upstairs on the rooftop. <laughs> Do you want to go to the rooftop? And I was like, sure. <laughs> so we go upstairs and there's just like the second party, which feels like the real party, which is very bizarre because it's like my bedtime. And people are like, I'm just getting started. I walked my sister-in-law out. I had waited like 20 minutes in line to get these two tacos. So I had this like plate of like those, you know, like street tacos that are like smaller. And I'm walking my sister-in-law out and I don't have a key card cause I'm not staying in this specific hotel. So I go down, walk her out. So I'm like pressing buttons, realizing, oh, I'm gonna have to go to the reception. As I'm like walking out, this guy walks in with a huge bag of Chick-fil-A and he buzzes himself up with his key card. And he goes, where are you going? And I said, rooftop. He goes, great, buzzes his key. And I start ascending to the rooftop. And I was like, thank you so much. And he goes, no worries. It's just gonna cost you a taco. And I was like, just have both while you're at it, you know, like joking. And then his floor comes and he just takes the plate of tacos from me and walks out. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and then I walk back to the rooftop and I ask my friend to go back to the taco man and, and make me two more tacos because I'm too embarrassed. So that was the rooftop. Hello, we missed you. Oh my God, Elise. Yes. Yep, that's it. That's the one. <laughs> 
And then after all of that, it is like late, late now and Olivia and I are so hungry and I have had two street tacos and I'm like, I really need food. We go to my favorite sushi restaurant in LA. Every time I'm in LA, I try and go here. It's called Katsuya, I think. It's so good. And the only thing I got a video of was the dessert. <laughs> So we get back to the hotel, we go to sleep, we wake up, I do my normal morning routine, I go downstairs, I get a coffee, I get a pastry, I go to the gym, I get some steps in because I don't have my treadmill desk. And then on my way up to the hotel room to give Olivia her pastries and coffee, I look at my phone and I have a text from Megan Trainer. How do I even have a text from Megan Trainer. That's a good question. We connected after I made that video dancing to her song where I was like duetting myself in like the nice clothes and then the normal Elise clothes. And she reached out and was like, here's my number, let's connect. I'm like, that makes sense. So she found out that we were gonna be in LA for this party and goes, um, if you're here and you have time, would love to see you. That makes sense. Then I see the text from her and it's a voice memo. I listen to it and it says, Hey Elise, if you want tomorrow morning, come by my house and get coffee at like nine-ish. We can hang out and just chat for a little bit. 8.52, be there by nine. I have to be at the airport at 11. I don't know where she lives. I have no idea how long it's gonna take me to get there. But we go for it. <laughs> so I text her back and say, great, we'll leave right now, not packed. I am shoving things in my suitcase at an alarming rate. Can you be ready in five minutes? She goes, I can be ready five minutes ago. She, no, it took us a little bit. We can come back and do this again, but I won't because I just am horrible at following through with everything, especially things that matter to me. <laughs> this wasn't gonna be happening again in the near future, now or never. and we stay and chat for like 45 minutes. Then her mom took us to the airport. And then we just sat on the plane. Like, silent. We just were silent. Every time Olivia and I made eye contact, it we would just laugh. You're like, how? Do I even begin to explain what just happened? Like even me trying to do this with you now, I my words are like failing me. I'm missing a million things because you. it's just like, it was, I just, I, this has been every day of my life for the last year has felt like this. So I don't even know where I'm going with that, but that's that. 